Well, hey there, my name is Jonathan Harper and welcome to Claire Assembly Tech Training. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to execute a quality live stream. Let's get started. I just really wanted to give you a quick overview of all the different uh, programs slash softwares that we're gonna be using. Um, and this, this looks kind of detailed, but it's just really quickly hitting all of them and then I'll walk you through it. Uh, so we're gonna be using OBS, uh, for the, our ability to capture the video, what's going on on stage and in church. Then we're going to be using this program called caster.io, which distributes our stream to two sources, Facebook and YouTube. So Facebook, people watch the stream. YouTube, people watch the stream. And then these final two steps, uh, they don't really impact the stream as it's going on. It's more, well this uh, GarageBand Universal Control do. So basically Canva, that's where we design our graphics. And so that's where you're gonna go and download the thumbnail every single week to put on the video for Facebook and for YouTube. And then uh, GarageBand and Universal Control, that is where you can uh, adjust the audio mix while the video is going on. Um, so like I said, a quick overview and in future videos, I'm gonna get into more detail about, definitely about the GarageBand Universal Control, the audio, and maybe even with a couple other things. But uh, let's get started. We're, we'll try to make this as fast as possible. Because remember, our goal is to get you from nothing is set up to the live stream is set up and ready to go and we can start streaming. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is open up OBS. So that's down here, OBS. So we're gonna click on that. And like I said, OBS is how we capture our camera and what is going on um, in, in our sanctuary, in our church. So uh, this is OBS right now. Normally you'd have like a camera feed right here, uh, but our cameras are turned off. So don't worry about this. Um, something that I always like to do when I open OBS is I go over here to the kind of help bar. I hit view and then I like to do multi-view full screen. And normally I send the multi-view over to the Dell monitor, which is to your right. Obviously I'm only capturing one monitor today. Uh, so I'm just gonna send it on the display one, but normally I'll do Dell. So let me just do display one really quick. Now this is going to be a multi-camera view of what's going on. So over here in the program, this is gonna be what's actually going live, what people can see. And then if you come down here, you can click through our different camera angles that are going on. Right now, currently at Claire Assembly of God, we only use two cameras. So we have two camera angles, uh, but you'll learn pretty soon that that's enough to keep you busy. Um, so, but you can kind of click through everything that's going on down here. And um, that's a great way to kind of click through the different camera angles. So I'm gonna hit escape on my keyboard and kind of keep going. Uh, but that is essentially OBS. Uh, and in a moment, I'll kind of teach you how to start streaming. It's really easy. You just click start streaming, but we don't have everything set up. So I definitely don't do that yet. All right, the second thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to caster.io. Uh, that's a website. So if you just start typing that in caster.io, it'll come up, you can hit enter, you can go to login. Thankfully, everything is uh, already logged in for you. You'll open up this Claire Assembly folder right here. And then boom, uh, it's open. And for the most part, it's ready to go. There is one final step we need to do with Caster, uh, but I'll get into that in a second. Uh, the second thing that we do is we open up Facebook. Actually, this is the third thing. So we had OBS, Caster, Facebook. So this is the third thing that I do. Go to Facebook and it is automatically logged into Claire Assembly of God. If it's not for some reason, it'll be logged into my personal account, and then you'll see Claire Assembly of God over here on the Manage Page part. So you can click Claire Assembly of God. It'll go straight there. And then we want to go to this icon here, Live Video. Click that. You hit Select over here. And now it's gonna kind of populate the screen of basically what you what what uh, Facebook has to help you run your live stream. And all of this looks 
pretty intimidating, uh, but there's really not a lot going on. Um, so you can leave all this correct streaming software, just leave it there. Uh, the one thing that I do every single time is I copy the stream key from Facebook. So I just hit copy, I go to caster, and I go to this full, uh, this stream right here, Facebook Live, Second Service Live. I hit the ellipses right here, edit, and I will paste, so Command V, I will paste the streaming key into uh, Caster right there, and I'll hit save. Um, the reason I do that is sometimes there's like some miscommunication from Facebook to Caster, and this way I guarantee every single time that there will be communication in that we will be able to send the stream from Caster to Facebook. So I just, I've gotten in the habit of doing that and I would recommend you do that as well. Uh, the next thing I do on Facebook is I go over here to what's your live video about. I click on that. And then right here, I'll type in the title of our video. So what, what we like to do is um, we'll put the series title first. Uh, sorry, no, the, the weekly title first, then the series title and then the date. So that individual week, uh, last week was freedom to worship. So we put a um, quotation mark, freedom to worship. And then I'll do kind of a vertical dash. You do this by hitting shift and then the dash button right there. Uh, and then we'll do the sermon series, freedom. And then we'll do the date, um, October 30th. 2020, oh, 2022. All right, next we'll do a description. And I would encourage you to do something like this. Good morning, church. Join us live as we worship Jesus together. And oh, as we gather together, as we gather together. Worship Jesus and hear an encouraging message from Pastor Scott. For more info, visit ClaireAOG.com. Then I give him my website. I don't put a period at the end because sometimes the website, it, you know, you just want it to be clean. Uh, and then I hit save. The description is really important because Facebook will not let you go live unless you have a description for your video. So that is really, really, really crucial. Uh, I've made that mistake before where I forgot to put it in and then we were ready to go live and it wasn't working. And, you know, you just want to eliminate every single mistake that you can make. So um, next we go to YouTube. Remember our flow. We have OBS, Caster, Facebook, YouTube. So Facebook and YouTube are going to be the places where people watch our stream. We also stream it to our website uh, via YouTube. So YouTube is important. You can go to youtube.com. And then up here, we're going to hit uh, the create button and go live. So create button, go live. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll go back to Facebook and I will, I will copy my title and description almost verbatim for, actually, yeah, I'll just copy them. So I'll hit edit post details. I'll do command C for copy, save. And then I'll go here to edit on YouTube and I will, I'll paste it in. I'll do the same for the title. Looks like this is the title that was um, here from last week. They forgot the quotation marks. That's okay. That's not that big of a deal. Uh, then I scroll down here. And uh, for some reason, sometimes the videos, um, we don't have a playlist that's selected. Always make sure that church services is selected for our playlist. It just helps our uh, visitors. If they land on our YouTube page, they know where to find uh, our church services. Nonprofit, profits and activism are fine. Um, thumbnail. So we'll get to that in a second. I hit save. Okay. So if you didn't have, if you didn't do anything else, 
um, you would be ready right now to live stream. And I would give you, I would give you like a solid B if you live streamed just like this. Now, obviously, you know, we would have like our cameras up and running and there would be a feed and it would sound good and look good and all that. But if um, there's some final steps that can make this even better, and so I'll hit those in just a second. But this is kind of the basic essentials. Um, so how do we get the video here to go to Facebook and YouTube? So like I said, uh, it's really easy. When the countdown starts, we have a countdown video that starts five minutes before service. When the countdown video starts, you want to click Start Streaming. Okay, I'm not going to click it because it's going to, you know, it'll do some things. But when you hit start streaming, it'll automatically send the video to Caster. And then Caster will send it to Facebook and YouTube. Now, YouTube will automatically start streaming when we hit start streaming on OBS. You don't have to do anything else with YouTube except monitor comments or, or something. And that you can do over here and you can type in, you know, what you want to say. And just remember, like, whenever you're uh, responding to something on YouTube or Facebook, you are responding as Claire Assembly of God, okay? So try your best to use, you know, proper grammar, capitalize your, you know, the first word in a sentence, things like that. Um, I know that, you know, none of us are perfect and we, we might, like, misspell something, but just try your best to represent the church uh, the best you can. So if I hit start streaming, then it'll go to Caster. You don't have to do anything else with Caster. That's all good. Uh, you don't have to do anything else with YouTube. That's all good unless you want to monitor comments, but you will have to hit start or you'll, you'll have to hit this button down here, go live uh, to start streaming on Facebook. You have to automatically or you have to do that yourself. That doesn't automatically start. Uh, this video will be blue when it's ready to go. Just hit go live. And please, please, please do not forget that button. Uh, there have been some times where, uh, you know, I'm the worship leader, so I'll be leading worship and I'll come back and I'll just kind of check on things in the tech booth. And I look over here and we'll have like a volunteer running the live stream and they're doing great and they're switching through videos. And I look over and this go live video, uh, go live button is still blue, which means we've been streaming for about, you know, 25, maybe 30 minutes and we haven't been sending it to Facebook. Um, so that's, that's just a really little step, but it's super, super, super important. I would say probably 80% of our viewers watch from Facebook. So we definitely want to make sure we're sending it to Facebook. All right. So that is the basics of how you set up the stream. Now I'm going to show you how to go from having a stream uh, like a B stream to go to an A or an A plus stream. All right. So the next step we want to do is go to Canva. So uh, we'll open up another tab, Canva. You can type that in and you will automatically log in to my wife's account, um, Addy. So. This is where we're going to get our thumbnail for the series that we're in. And it might take a little bit of, you know, searching or digging, but basically you're going to look for the series that you're, we're in and then hit, um, you're going to say, oh, this is it. You know, we're in the series Freedom. This is Freedom Presentation. And this is the thumbnail size that we want. Okay. So you're going to go to ellipses right here. You hit download. Then you're going to select PNG. You want the size to be half. Uh, that's just like something that YouTube likes. And then you hit download. And then it's going to download that. It'll download it as a zip file. So you have to go up to the downloads. Uh, double click this. Or maybe there we go. OK, and now I'm going to drag this. All right, so you'll look into finders. Uh, your finder folder and here it is freedom presentation so this is good this is where we want it and it's under downloads all right so now we're gonna go back to YouTube we'll hit edit we'll go to here change the thumbnail the little ellipses you'll hit that change then we're gonna go to our 
Freedom Destination 1. And it might take a little bit of digging to find the exact one for that week. Uh, but let's just do this one to make sure we're good. Yep, Freedom of Worship. That's it. You'll hit Save. Good job. All right, and then you'll do the same thing in Facebook. Now, all this that I'm doing, this should be done, obviously, before the, the video goes live. Okay, so, like, don't be changing, don't change, like, the um, thumbnail and stuff while you're streaming. Like, I don't even know if it'll let you do that. Okay, the final step is how to upload and change the thumbnail for the Facebook video. So, um, unfortunately, it looks like Facebook has changed something. Uh, there used to be a way where you could upload the thumbnail before you posted. Um, I'm, I searched for a while and I couldn't find that. So maybe I'll make kind of an addendum to this video as we move forward. But for right now, the way to do it is, um, so I'm on our Clear Assembly of God page, our Facebook page. I'll go back to um, the, the profile so I can show you where I'm, how I got here. So this is like our home uh, Facebook page. And if you go here to more and then videos, this is after the fact that you have finished the live stream video. Okay, so you want to do this after you're done with the video. Uh, you go to the latest videos, and so this is the, the one from last Sunday. Hit the little ellipses right here. Um, edit post. And then right here, video options. And uh, you can put the video title in again if you would like. Um, but for the sake of for the sake of the time of this video i'm just going to go down here to change thumbnail upload image hit upload image and remember this is where you have downloaded already the files from canva and so i'm just going to select this one double click right there hit save cool and then save one more time and so this is really nice it looks really uniform um, it's playing but you can see some of the videos that we've done in the past uh, this is a habit that we've kind of gotten out of but like right here um, those are the thumbnails that people initially see and it just looks really sharp you know like this this looks really really good so all right so your stream is going you're you're smooth sailing, everything is working out. Um, now what you want to do is you want to monitor your stream. And so obviously you're going to do that by like clicking through the video feeds, making sure it's looking dynamic and it's exciting and people want to watch it. But you also want to monitor the audio. So the first thing you want to do is just open up GarageBand and it will automatically open up this folder that's called live stream audio. And you don't have to do anything else with GarageBand. It'll just open this up. And this allows you the ability to hear what's going on with the live stream. You are hearing what everyone else at home is hearing. If they're watching it on their phone or on their laptop or on their smart TV, you're hearing what they're hearing. And this is really, really important because... Um, you know, we can be sitting in the sanctuary, sitting during the service, and we can be, you know, really like, oh, this sounds good. Like everything's sounding great. And it could sound totally different online. So we want to make sure that we're uh, tuned into what's going on. The second thing that you do to use the audio is you open up what's called the universal control down here. You're going to double click on the soundboard icon right here. And this will give you the ability to then mix what everybody is hearing. And so obviously there's no like band going on right now. But um, in another video where I talk through how to how to change everything and how to run the sound in in that video, you'll kind of learn what each of these do. Um, but in a nutshell, these are just different tracks for the different inputs that are going on um, on stage. So these first six all apply to the drum set. So you don't really have to mess with that. That looks good. This one right here is the bass guitar. So that's like the really low 
um, low sounding, like boom, like that kind of guitar. Can I hear it good? This is the acoustic guitar. Who's who, whoever's playing acoustic? Can I hear them? Does it sound good? These are the keys. Uh, this is the MIDI keys. Um, over here is electric, handheld one, handheld two, handheld three. Um, and so, like I said, in another video, I'll explain more about running sound. And once you watch that, this will all make more sense. But this is how you can kind of dial in the mix that you're going for for your live stream. Thank you so much for watching this video. And please remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and we'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Have a great day.